Hey everybody, Drew Sagawa here, and I want to give you a little two-minute tip. In our devotional time with our family, we're going through the book of Acts, and I want to share something with you. We are in Acts chapter 1. This is something that we read yesterday with the kids. I want to share this with you. In verse 7 and 8, Jesus said, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power he says when the holy spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in jerusalem and in all judea and samaria and to the end of the earth and so listen what you and i need is god's power in our lives you need power for life you need power for marriage you need power for family we need power for our homeschooling for church life for serving god publicly we need power for business i need power for preaching i need power for teaching god's word i need his power for everything and to be a dad to be a husband uh, to lead people and and to keep hearing from god and following I need His empowerment. And so listen, you and I need God's power for life, for everything really. And that's one of the things that separates us as born-again, spirit-filled Christians. We are those who have something that the world does not have. And we're not to hold that arrogantly, but we're to display it powerfully, right? So Jesus said, let your light shine before men in such a way or manner that those who see your good works glorify your father in heaven well that's it for me i want you to share this with somebody maybe somebody in your life needs to hear this today and god bless you and we'll see you soon